What's up everybody, it's Iko. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to topple lock, daze lock, and grind up XP from these level 98 dinosaurs that you can find in the Magnet Forest. Some of you may have seen my Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Casual Mode is Too Easy video, and I was walking around the Magnet Forest and I found this dinosaurus and I said, I wonder if I can defeat this at level 39. Uh, yeah, yeah I can. So it's actually pretty easy to do if you're in casual mode. All you gotta do is topple and daze lock this thing. So the first trick to topple locking is we need to fill up our party gauge in order to get a chain attack. The fastest way to build up your party gauge is to use positional arts. So you'll notice here I with Shulk I go over to the side and I'm gonna use air slash and I'm gonna use backslash because for whatever reason there I got a good ch um, chance on it. I'm going to go around the back here and I'm going to use backslash again once it builds up here. Or no, I'm going to go around and I'm going to use air slash. I'm revoicing over this video because the original one had a bunch of mic peaking issues. Okay, so now we have our chain attack. So this is where things get crazy. So we're going to break it. Then we're going to use Ryan to topple it. We're going to use Dunban to topple it again. This is known is topple locking. So we inflict the topple over and over and over again to increase the amount of time that the topple gauge is going to stay at the top. And then we're going to rebuild our party gauge and repeat that process all over again. And it's pretty quick to refill your party gauge if you're um, using your positional words. And here we're going to do something extra fancy. We're going to daze lock it. So I'm going to use Shaker Edge on Shulk to inflict a daze. And then on Ryan, I'm going to use Shield Bash to inflict a daze again. And then Dumb Man, I'm going to use a topple. And this is going to inflict a daze lock, which is going to keep the Stinosaurus down. This thing is not getting up. And if it can't attack us, it can't hurt us, which means we can keep inflicting damage and defeat this opponent really, really quickly. So that's topple locking and daze locking. As far as how much experience you're going to be getting out of this, you're going to be getting anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 XP depending on your level. I'm at here, level 39, and I get 1,266 XP. And in another clip I'll put off to the right here. From these dinosaurs you can get level 5 crystals and their drops which are great for making gems. If you want a video on making gems, go ahead and put that down in the comments below and subscribe to my channel that way I know to make a video on how to make gems for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of me defeating this dinosaur as you already know how to topple and daze lock from the clip a second ago. Um, but that just so y'all can see the whole fight process all the way through. Topple locking is almost this kind of addicting thing once you figure out how to do it because it makes defeating your opponents really really easy and it's so satisfying to topple lock your opponent and get off these massive chain attacks and once you get a topple lock you can daze lock it. Um, daze locking gets a little more complicated but um, it's pretty easy for the most part, especially on higher level monsters when you're in casual mode. Casual mode makes this game way, 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 way too easy, as you can see here. Because if I took casual mode off, there is no way I would ever be able to take on this level 98. It just wouldn't happen. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and thanks for watching.